chase to condition 10. This is not a drill, we are at condition 10. Hey guys, Kim Rich here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna unbox a few new Hot Wheels Matchbox models that I found at Walmart. These were came out from a brand new dumb bin. They are the MK's vehicle. Also have a few new moving parts with the latest assortment with the Harry Potter Ford Angelia. So I have a few of the uh, newer Fast and Furious Hot Wheel car culture line. I picked up a few of these cars also to open up. So without further ado, let's uh, take a look at all of these vehicles. Back up the camera a little bit. Still waiting for a replacement one for this one because it's getting old and as you can see if I zoom out too much, corner here is kind of black and offset because my camera is damaged. So I'm still waiting for a replacement one. I have a camera in, uh, in view that I'm, uh, I'm willing to buy, but uh, for now it's too expensive. So I'm waiting for a discount or maybe a better price eventually, maybe at the end of the year. And uh, when it's going to be possible, I'm going to buy this new camera and replace this one. Anyway, stop talking. Let's go with the first car. This is the Mazda Auto Zam AZ1. This is a newer car that was released last year from the Matchbox line. Came out in blue. Now we have this recolor in red. Concept model. Nice uh, tempo on the back. You have your uh, insert lights, a part of this window piece. Get your uh, wannabe six bolt odd caps. Plastic gray base. Not my time of vehicle, but Matchbox did a well job uh, replicating this car. Next we have this Hot Wheel VW Bus Electric. This is a recolor also, I think it came out in yellow not too long ago. Now we have it in orange. I think this vehicle will look much better if the, the roof was painted white, just like the old classic VW Bus. Also if the white keeps going through the bumper instead of stopping at the middle looks a bit incomplete but that's how the real model was issued it's not all wheels fault actually just uh, the way vw put it on this vehicle and uh, oh boy what the heck happened in the back of this one so we got some quality control damage that's unfortunate i don't know if the camera can pick this up but you can see some black dots and kind of uh, almost uh, this vehicle got smashed or something. But, uh, that, that's pretty bad. This vehicle looks okay. Next we have this uh, recolor, the BMW M3. This one looks to be uh, a puke yellow with the BMW uh, stripes. No tail lights tampos, but you do have a uh, print on the hood and on the spoiler. Nope. No tampos on the front either. I like it, it's simple. This one has a red scuff on the roof. Okay, what's going on with Hot Wheels quality control? Magnus Walker 1996 Porsche Carrera. How many release of this uh, team they got with Hot Wheels? I think it's the, like the fourth, fifth. They did a lot of the 934, also the 356, now this one. It's okay. I pick it up because I have the other uh, Urban Outlaw Porsches, but uh, it's not my favorite team. It's a cool casting though. New model for this year, the Ford Maverick Custom. Not to be confused with the Ford Lightning pickup truck that was released a few batch ago seems to be the same blue newer wheels on this one the debut in the uh, on the Alfa Romeo uh, four-door car it's one of the big wing in the back get your headlights uh, tail light temple print with the Ford logo uh, module Blistein and Hot Wheels on the side Ford emblem on the grill and the headlights are printed. Nothing on the base. Get your bit of a bar going on the bed. Get your old scoop on the front with the little sunroof also coming out. 
Uh, the Lotus Type 49. Basing car. This one kind of remembers me of the uh, Redline era cars. There was a bunch of these classic race cars back in the day. This car has some weight, in it, surprisingly. Uh, it's because they have a metal base, actually. Metal base and metal body. Must be one of the very rare one to have such thing. Did a very nice job at detailing this engine, actually. Those wheel looks also pretty cool on this car. And uh, you can't go wrong with the British Racing Green. Maybe a future premium version will have the pilot detail. Maybe some print on the engine like you do on the Matchbox moving parts. Uh, the Firebird. If you found this car in the Spectra Flame Black with the rubber tires, it's going to be a super trailer on for this case. This is the main line. Looks pretty cool. Just black with the red uh, red bird on the front. Red stripe. And this is it. This was the super from the last case, the uh, wannabe Renault Mazda. 787B. This one's nicely printed. I think the green is a little bit too dark. To replicate this uh, version, it's probably uh, wanted because I don't want to do a, a real uh, replica of the Renault Mazda. Don't want to pay the licensing. Another Liberty Walk, Liberty Walk uh, Nissan Skyline. One's gray with the body kit. Liberty Walk on the back. Get your white circle, which one to put a number on it. Nice car. Not the bumpers chain on the back, not the same as the regular Skyline. Uh, Acura NSX, yellow, simple. Those big, huge rear wheels need to go though. Looks uh, not too good, looks very goofy looking actually. Because the rest of the car looks okay. And this is a nice yellow. Quite interestingly, a nicely detailed interior of this one. Customizer out there want to make a very special model. You have the option there. The Audi RS2 wagon. In the teal color. This could have very much be on a matchbox card. It's just it's screen matchbox on this one. It's very nicely proportioned. The Pagani Utopia. Nice car in real. The Hot Wheels one's okay. I kind of wish they would have put some mirrors on this one. And uh, and choose a better color. This is a not very good color. For this, especially for a supercar like this one. A lot of plastic on this one too. All of this part here is plastic. Only the top is die cast, and this car is pretty light. Nothing on the base though. So it's kind of feel cheaper than the, whoops, the other Hot Wheels. Quite unfortunate. Maybe the uh, premium version, if they ever do one, will have a metal base. And feel a little bit better. And the last one, we have this uh, Batmobile. Don't have too many samples of this one. It's not my favorite Batmobile, but this one is just plain black with some nice yellow stripe on the top. So I decided to pick it up and add it to my uh, quite uh, limited Batmobile collection. All right, so this is all the cars. Let's put the new models on the front. So the Pagani, the Maverick, and the Lotus. So up next, we're gonna Let's finish up with Hot Wheels. So let's take a look at these uh, premium version. Land Cruiser. This is a pretty nice looking uh, casting. I think the wheels are probably a little bit too big, but not by far. Nice print on the front, which got your big bar for off-roading. You get your uh, headlights, your uh, turn signal, your Toyota logo. Like this red paint, looks cool. Metal base, metal body, of course. 
plastic uh, spare tire, not, di not rubber. Uh, surprisingly, this one does not have any tail tampos on this one. Not sure why. Don't notice because they have to paint this uh, roof white and they decide to cut off on the uh, tampo. But uh, a little bit disappointing on that. I think this were not um, used with the Hot Wheels cutting down on tampo print, especially on premiums. And this one, this little Porsche. Very sought after. This one vanished very quickly off the peg, like every other Porsche for some reason. Nicely done. Again, this could very well be on the Matchbox card. Proportion looks pretty nice. I uh, like the rubber tires on this one. This, the five spoke looks cool. Nicely also done on the um, the front. This car looks very, very similar to the 911 Turbo in yellow that they released in the Boulevard line. Exactly similar with this uh, wing in, in the back. That looks the most different. But anyway, this is a pretty cool car and eventually will probably be featured in the Police Chase stop motion video. Eventually, among with this one, for sure. Alright, let's finish the video with the moving parts. Uh, part of the Hot Wheels on the back. Put some space for the orange brand. Uh, let's start with the uh, different models and then we're gonna take a look at these uh, Land Rover because there is a variation on these ones. Jaguar I-Pace, not very uh, exciting vehicle. This is electric. But uh, anyway, we're gonna take a look at, at it because it's a new model. It's probably the only one I'm going to collect or if they ever release the British Racing Green, I will probably pick also this one up. But uh, for the rest, I will not collect this model. Yes, I'm not very a fan of EVs in general anyway. So this one plastic base, uh, this one quite feel heavy, which is strange. This one have opening doors. That should take a little look at the interior and oh my god. <sighs> Some major quality control on the roof, unfortunately. The paint did not uh, dry enough. And, uh, we have this big scuff. That's very unfortunate because the rest of the vehicle looks okay. But uh, yeah, so Mattel is not very, not doing very, very well on this video for quality control. That's very unfortunate. Harry Potter. This one gets a very special uh, package on it. Very nice hard work for Angelia. This one have two opening parts, surprisingly. Get your, the trunk and the door. So let's take a look at this. Am I gonna keep this package because it does look nice? And uh, oh my god, of course, you get your very stiff doors that don't want to open. Trunk opens just fine but these doors oh my god uh, they're so stiff I guess I'm gonna have to uh, I'm going to chip something if I push them too hard okay this one open up oh this one come on here we go they open quite far which is good to see you that's all your feature nicely done and uh, oh, I hate when they do this. You put this uh, copyright on the uh, the paint of the vehicle. Just not right. Put it on the basement matchbox. Come on, don't do this. So annoying. I think they also did this crap when they released the uh, Hot Wheels Fast and Furious in the uh, one dollar style line and line card. You put this uh, copyright on the cars, which is quite frustrating. Don't know if you are agree with me, guys, but. Uh, Anyway, I really wish they just put it on the base instead of putting it on the, on the paint of the vehicle. Anyway, last vehicle, the Land Rover from 1975. So this one have a variation. You can have it with the uh, left hand drive steering or you can have it with the right hand drive steering. 
Gotta get this vehicle out of this uh, prison cardboard. So this one here is the uh, right side, you can see. And this one's gonna be on the left side. I think they also did this with the uh, first release of this vehicle. I think it was uh, in the yellow. And they also made a super chase version of this Land Rover. I was never ab able to find it. But uh, anyway, so anyway, that's your two variations here. So left hand drive and right hand drive. These ones have opening hood. I don't know if they have variation also on the hood. Whoops. We gotta take a look, find out quickly. And uh, nope, they're exactly the same engine block. Don't see any difference. Same tempo print, out there. the front and the back. So yeah, your variation is gonna be the interior with the steering. And that's pretty much it. Nice model though, very nicely done. This almost looks like a military vehicle in this uh, green here, which is cool. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And I will see you in the next one. Tell me which vehicle is your favorite out of this line of cars. See you again soon.